so guys in this video we are uh, going to look how to calculate uh, dft of a uh, of this type of uh, question where there are decimal values and then negative values so if you follow my uh, first video then you won't be uh, getting the right answer because this question involves a negative uh, uh, input here so for this type of questions what you have to do is uh, a simple modification to my first video uh, it is like enter uh, first make sure the calculator is in complex mode and then enter uh, open bracket 1 shift angle 0 alpha a and then close bracket plus uh, open bracket so since this is our decimal number uh, open another bracket and then enter this decimal value inside the bracket and then close bracket and then into uh, 1 shift angle uh, minus 90 alpha a so uh, the thing is like next to this angle like there should be a whole number and uh, always a positive value so so make sure like the decimal value is inside the bracket and then after that multiply it by one uh, and then uh, the angle so after that plus open bracket zero shift angle minus 180 alpha a and then close bracket and then plus open bracket and then open another bracket and then minus 0 0.707 and then close bracket into one shift angle minus 270 alpha a and then close bracket uh, then to calculate the values hit calculate and then for x of 0 hit 0 and then equals so x of 0 equals 1 and then x of 1 equals so calculate and then 1 and then equals so x of 1 is equal to 1 minus 1 1.414 i and then x of 2 equals calculate 2 and then equals so it is 1 and then x of 3 equals calculate and then 3 and then equals so it's 1 plus 1 1.414 i so this is how uh, you calculate dft of uh, uh, questions involving decimal numbers or negative uh, inputs so what you have to do is just enter them inside brackets and then always make sure that next to the angle uh, there is always a positive and the whole number uh, so that's all for this video thank you